here for you today? Uh, I think it went pretty well. Uh, you know, we competed well, played well, so it was a good experience. How many workouts have you had so far? What number was this on the uh, This is number seven for me. Wow. What's that about this one maybe compared to some of the ones you've already done? Um, I guess it was just shorter in time, but you know, a lot of a lot of thinking, a lot of playing. So it was it was really good today. They obviously play at an extremely high pace. Do, they, do you sense that in the workouts? I mean, you, they put you through a lot of things that you to try to prove that you can play that fast. Yeah, for sure. They uh, you know go through some drills the way they play just to show like the speed they want to play at. Um, it was really good. Uh, it's good to play fast. Uh, kind of getting in college, so we're just getting up and down the court. So it was fun. What do you think you can bring to an NBA team now, and what do you think you need to keep working on to, to have like a 10, 15 year career? Uh, just being a pest on defense. Uh, you know, just making shots uh, when, when need be. Uh, just being like an everyday guy, I think. Uh, being a good teammate, just you know, all the little things. What are the impressions of, of the Pacers in general? I mean, they're an Eastern Conference Finals team. How, how, how do you view them in terms of just as a team here in the, in the NBA? Uh, I think they're a really good team, just especially the way their guards play. You know, they guard the ball really well. Uh, they live in the paint, really creative, uh, getting people shots. So I, I, I love the way they play. How do you feel like your time playing under Izzo and playing at Michigan State kind of prepared you to become a pro? Uh, just, just the demands of it, you know, just it's every day. Uh, no days off, honestly. So you just got to play as hard as you can, best you can. Uh, really, no bad days, honestly. Even if you're having a bad day, you got to do whatever you got to do to make sure it doesn't happen. I wanted to go back to what you said about just, just how their guards play. I mean, like, how much did you have a chance to watch them, I guess? And, and what did you, it's something more about like what you like when you see them. Uh, I watched them a lot just because, you know, same, you know, kind of same network I mean, in Michigan. So just watching them, uh, you know, the guards, especially McConnell, I think we're probably the same size uh, and Embarg. Yeah, so they just they just get up and down. They guard, pest, uh, you know, ball, a lot of ball streams, uh, a lot of space. And they just live in the paint and create. When did Don Pro become a reality in your head that you knew it was very possible for you? Uh, let's say last year. Uh, you know, I, I played well like when I was at old school, but just didn't really know. And then, you know, just playing against these people at that level in the Big Ten and then all around the country, just, just recognize how I could perform at the highest level. Any impressions of Indiana playing against IU a few times last year? Huh? You have impressions of Indiana playing against IU a few times last uh, year? I don't, I don't like Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, there's not many Big Ten schools that I like, so. <laughs> Purdue probably even yeah, just yeah nice. as uh, as little uh, uh, yeah probably yeah. Purdue even like more, you look over you see uh, you see Larry Bird watching your workout does that provide a little extra a uh, little extra juice for you yeah it, it definitely does just because he's in here uh, everybody knows he's a legend uh, just just what he's done on the court so just want to play the best you can for him forgive me for not knowing this did you guys play Oakland this year yeah okay what was the, what was Jack liked to play against him. I like got him. I chased him around the whole court. Yeah. <laughs> what's that, what, what's just, that like? Basically? Just knowing just how, they, uh, how they use him. Just knowing like he, he's going to shoot threes. Uh, so I was kind of the chase guy. I just chased him around. Uh, mm -hmm. Made every shot tough from. But that was really it. What's it like chasing him? Like, what, it, what's he, what makes him good at getting open, I guess, is the question I'm trying to ask. Uh, just constant movement. Mm -hmm. uh, he can move him all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so you just, you know, it's easy when they just tell you, like, uh, don't relax. Just, just Make sure you go ego, so it's kind of it's fun now. Sure. <laughs> Did you get to play with him today? And what's yeah, that we played, like? well, I played a lot. Um, still moves a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Knows how to get a shot off. Mm -hmm. uh, how helpful is it when you're a point guard? When you have that guy that's got that kind of grab? Uh, you know, you just got to put the ball in his hand. Uh, mm -hmm. On time, on target, so he can get it off. You mentioned TJ McConnell. When you watch him, is there anything specific like, oh, I need to take that from him or anything like that? I would say the biggest thing, just uh, he, he guards the ball nonstop. Like he's a pest. And I, I, I really like that just because, you know, that's the way to get on the floor and stay on the floor, just harass people. And, and you know, just constantly just watching that and it's like saying like to yourself, I got to do that.